and welcome from SeaWorld Orlando where we're gonna do all things penguins. So we got a penguin encounter and then we're gonna do the ride and see where else the day takes us. Come along with me. Oh, we're actually headed to the Animal Encounters booth to get our tickets to the experience. So I got my ticket. They actually changed the spot. It used to be by the rescue store, but they have a self check-in. So if you have a screenshot of your ticket, you just scan your phone and then it prints out your ticket for your encounter. So that's really a lot easier than what it was before. Ah, I'm so excited. So on the weekends here, they have, um, for October, they have the Craft Brew Fest and Spooktacular. I'm hoping to get here maybe soon, hopefully before the cruise, but we'll see. Um, also, they have past member benefits. So the Penguin Tour is 30% off for the month of October. So it's definitely something to check out. And that's why I picked it. <laughs> They're getting set up for Christmas already. SeaWorld has the best Christmas in all of Orlando. So I'm super excited. We come a lot. It's really pretty, but the trees are out. Oh, so exciting, but also too soon. <laughs> Should I get this penguin hat for our encounter? No, I won't, but it's really cute. So I had to get it on film. Also, I wanted to note that I brought my spirit jersey today because it's gonna be pretty cold in there. I do have short sleeves on right now, but I gotta be prepared for the, the penguin's coldness. I'm super excited, can you tell? So I feel like it's not a gen vlog until I've talked about a sloth. By Infinity Falls, they have a sculpture of a sloth. We actually did a tour here before for my, I don't know what it was for, I think we just did it. And before we were vlogging and we met Mila, the sloth from SeaWorld. And Maybe we'll put a picture of Mila in right here, just cause, why not? <laughs> so also, things that Jen does every single time is get to the meeting spot early. But I get kind of lost in SeaWorld sometimes. So, at least I have it here. I'm gonna go into Sesame Street and see what's up. The pretzel kitchen is our meeting spot, but I think it's actually over here where we meet. So this is make a feathered friend. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, we're headed into Sesame Street. I love Sesame Street probably way more than I should, but it's fine. <laughs> Bert and Ernie are out. Oh, so excited. <laughs> <laughs> you good? Yeah? <laughs> and how are you? <laughs> I love you too. I do. <laughs> oh, just me and you? <laughs> Ernie, please! <laughs> I just met my friends Bert and Ernie. Oh, they're so cute. And as an adult, I'm allowed to go visit them too because it's my childhood also. So it's justified. <laughs> so I only have about five minutes until they want you to start meeting up for the penguin tour. So I'll be back at uh, Sesame Street, I'm sure very soon. Um, so there are 18 different species of penguins in the world. Out of those 18 species, how many of them do you think actually live on Antarctica year-round? Five. Five? What other guesses do we have? Three. Three? Seven. Seven? I'm really impressed by all of these guesses. So um, there's actually only two species that live on Antarctica year-round, and a lot of you might be surprised by that number. And that's normally how we see them represented in TV shows and movies. We always see them on Antarctica. But in truth, the Adelie penguin and the Emperor penguin are the two species that will live there year round. Now you can see Adelies in our Antarctica exhibit here at SeaWorld, but we do not have Emperor penguins. That exhibit is 32 degrees Fahrenheit, zero Celsius. It is literally freezing. It is still too warm for an Emperor penguin. So we do not have them here. Every single continent below the equator. So they're just down in the Southern hemisphere, but they are pretty much everywhere. So we are meeting Magellanic penguins today. Magellanic penguins come from the southern tip of South America. You would find them in Chile, Argentina, the Falklands Islands, and they are a more temperate weather species. So this exhibit that we're about to be headed into is about 55 degrees Fahrenheit, which is I think around 10 to 12 Celsius. Um, and that is a comfortable temperature for them, but they can also tolerate temperatures 
temperatures up into the 80s. That means that they get to go out on field trips. So these penguins can go to schools, elderly homes, children's hospitals, and that is a really phenomenal privilege that we have here. Now, this might sound like a trick question. I promise it's not. Can penguins fly? No. no. no? What if I told you that some of ours can, uh, but only on airplanes? <laughs> yeah? So some of ours have flown up to New York. They've been on late night talk shows, Good Morning America. Uh, they are celebrities. They know it. They act like it. Don't let them intimidate you. <laughs> Ready to get going? Sure. Yes. All right, perfect. Yeah. Okay. So I'll have you come all the way down here for me, my friend. Yeah, okay, I'm going to stop right about here. Humans, we run at about 98 degrees Fahrenheit, 
a penguin's internal body temperature is going to run at about 101. Oh. So they stay very, very warm. Um, now, for their feathers, they do have feathers. And if you took a quarter, a US quarter, put it on their backs, there would be about 55 feathers in this teeny tiny space. So they have to layer on top of one another, kind of like the scales on a snake or like shingles on a roof. Give it kind of that snake scale texture. Um, and also still very soft. That's gonna help keep them waterproof, help keep them warm. For our penguins over in our Antarctica exhibit, they are gonna have closer to 70 to 75 feathers in that same space. And for emperor penguins, which we talked about on the way over, we don't have here because it's not cold enough for them. They've got about a hundred feathers in that same amount of space. So emperor penguins can get up to four feet tall and up to a hundred pounds. They're very large birds. Well, I just want to thank you all for joining us today. Without you being here, we would not be able to provide the care and support that we do for all of the animals that call this park home. We would not have our conservation fund. We would not have our rescue and rehabilitation program. And in fact, we even have four rescued penguins back in our avian research facility there, where we just left. Uh, those penguins were rescued as juveniles from Argentina due to habitat destruction. And it is thanks to all of you being here and wanting to learn about, love, and support these animals that we were able to open our doors and give them a second shot at life. So we are very grateful for that, very grateful for all of you. And I hope you all have a beautiful rest of your day today. We'll head back on out into the park. And if you do have any last minute questions or need help with directions, I'll stick around to help you out with that. It was awesome. We got this little card and I learned so much about them. I'll put it all in the video, don't worry. We're gonna head into the penguin area. I'll probably eat over there and then we'll do the uh, penguin ride. That was so cool. We met a little penguin. He, he didn't feel as cold as I thought or slimy. He wasn't slimy at all. He was really soft actually. So I will say if you're going to do the penguin up close tour, I would at least bring a long sleeve with you or a sweater because it was pretty cold in there. And I'm a wimp, so I'll tell you. Um, if I didn't have that long sleeve, I probably wouldn't have enjoyed it as much. So, just a FYI. So first, I think we're gonna grab a bite to eat. Um, in, I don't even know, we're in Antarctica, but I'm not sure what their food is over here. So we'll check it out. Oh my gosh, they have acai bowls. If I knew that, I'd come for breakfast. Ah, uh, next time. So here's what their menu looks like. We have American, Italian, and Asian. So there's different little booths to pick out what you want. So let's see what I am in the mood for. So I ended up getting American food because it was the shortest line and I'm pretty hungry. So I got the Emperor's pasta platter with chicken. Looks good. I'll try it out. It's pretty good. Pasta. And chicken is not dry. I'd say it's a solid meal. So the line for uh, the penguin ride is 45 minutes, but it's not moving. Um, so I'm gonna do that a different time. Maybe when we do the other penguin tour, because there's another one we can do that I think you go in there. So we'll do that next time, but we'll check out some merch. So here's a whole bunch of penguin stuff, but I'm intrigued by this shirt, SeaWorld. <gasps> oh, yep, there's some penguins on there. And that's $25.99. Here's some SeaWorld penguin mugs, snow globe. Oh, this is really cute though. SeaWorld, $12.99. It's really cute. Oh, it's got penguins on the back. Penguin stuff. Ice, $27.99. Penguin figurine down here, $16.99. $19.99 for these little dudes. This shirt's pretty fun. Every day I'm shuffling for $21.99. Okay, I never knew they had penguin Opoly. A cool came while you're chilling. Let's see the back. Free fish. Lost at sea. Waddle. Oh, that's really fun. I really want that. I'm not gonna lie. Lots more plush going on over here. They all vary in price, I'm sure. $17.99. Oh, $17.99, maybe not. 
no, I was wrong. They're all the same price. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna start heading towards the front of the park. I've done a lot today in a short amount of time also. Um, but I'm gonna see if they have, I'm in the mood for like a sweet treat. See what kind of things they have. I'm not sure what I'll get. It'd be great if it was penguin themed, but I don't know, we'll see. So I was gonna leave that pay handed, but I found s'mores cookie dough. And uh, if you know me, I'm a sucker for anything s'mores, so I had to get it. Um, I'm really excited, let's try it. That's good. It's got graham crackers, chocolate cookie dough, and marshmallow. Yep. I'm all about that. Well, that does it for us here at SeaWorld Orlando. I had such a great day, and I hope you had a great time coming along with me on my animal adventure. Well, I hope to be back for spectacular and craft food fest, hopefully soon. Uh, we'll see where my schedule takes me, um, but thanks for tagging along. Remember to hit that subscribe button to keep updated on what we're up to. Also hit that like um, for the penguin, not even for me. I don't need a like, the penguin needs one. Um, and, uh, so I'll see you real soon.